Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips. This is part two of a three part video of a Tonks mid band board installation into this York JCB861. In part one, we repaired the Tonks board, put a new cable on it, and got it ready to go into the radio. In this episode, we'll be putting it into the radio. Then in episode three, we'll be doing some alignment. Now, this radio already had a K-tone bleat board fitted and a relay to cut the speaker off so I'm not going to be messing with that but I will be tidying it up I just took it out of the tape just to document it so there buried next to the channel change is our PLL chip we need to remove and obviously the 10240 crystal so we'll start up by freshening the solder up. And then using a bit of desolder braid. carefully desolder this PLL chip I think I should really get myself a better way of desoldering. Because this desolder brake can get quite hot at times. So let's gently try and pry out this PLL chip. And there we have it. So we'll put that to one side for safekeeping. Now next thing that needs to come out is the 10240 crystal. So that's located on these two spaces. And out comes the crystal. Put that to one side for safekeeping as well. And again, a little bit of ISO on a cotton bud. Remove all the flux. Just clean up the area in general. Yeah, nice clean job. So I've actually taken the tone switch out. It's a little bit fiddly, so I had to do this off camera. And because I couldn't get the front of the radio off because of the microphone socket, so it was a real um, interesting way to do it. But we just heat shrunk the two wires, just and we'll tidy them up and put them in there. 
and then we re remove the tone capacitor off the switch so now we need to use these documents on how to connect it up so it says the white wire needs to go to pin 11 or the place where the crystal was that connects to pin 11 of the PLL chip and luckily who took this out of a radio beforehand has left just enough cable for us to do this I think out of all the wires that have to be connected this one is the most fiddly there we've got it folded it over so it doesn't drop out and that's going to pin 11 of the PLL chip well should we say where the PLL chip used to live now to see if my new plugs fit in place properly it's a little bit fiddly to get this aligned up it does eventually go but what we find is there's a blob of wax just on the right hand side that's stopping it from sitting down fully There it is, so we'll just scrape that away. It's not needed in any way. And then we'll try again. There, it now fits flush. So the end four pins aren't connected, which is correct. So let's solder this in. there just do a test fit it seems to fit in place quite nicely yep all good sits down nicely in its place so we'll solder the negative lead onto the top of this can I presume that's kind of where it come from and with it being a metal can it's sinking a lot of heat away but it eventually melts and that allows us to solder this wire onto it sits down nicely in its place now we've got some wires remaining just 
just trying to tidy up some of the wires out of the way. Want to try and put the bleat board into this position. It seems a nice place for it. We'll tidy up the wires at the end once everything's in place. So the next wire to connect is the red, red wire. And this will be going onto the switched side of the on and off switch, which is located on the volume control. Along with the tons of other wires that have been added onto this. I could tidy up all these bleep wires, but I'm not going to because it works. Now the last three wires are the band select wires. So we'll trim them to the same length. So the documentation says connect blue and green for the UK and EU bands and the pink wire is to common so that will be the centre of the switch. So as always, we tin the wires up. Tin the um, switch. Now this bit's the fiddly bit. So as per the documentation, pink is common and then blue or green are the bands. And now the, the board is now ready for testing, which will be in part three of this video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in part three.